Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. If there is no overflow tank or if the tank does not empty back into the cooling system, then pour this directly into the radiator, making sure not to go over the full line. Warning, make sure to put the radiator cap back on after adding the new coolant and before starting the engine. Take our lead. You should have between one and a half and two gallons in the fluid bucket or catch basin. Be sure the radiator cap has been removed which will help you get most of the coolant out if the system. Then tighten the drain plug or reinstall the lower radiator hose. To flush the cooling system refill the radiator with plain water. Make your mark, take our lead. If the coolant level is low, add the correct coolant to the reservoir, not the radiator itself. You can use diluted coolant by itself, or a 50-50 mixture of concentrated coolant and distilled water. When the coolant rises to the cold fill line, replace the cap and tighten it until you feel it click. Take our lead. The coolant reservoir is a vital component of the cooling system. Its function is to store excess coolant fluid until required. While the engine is off, your coolant reservoir should be about 30% full. The most common reason for a vehicle to overheat is a leak in the coolant reservoir or one of the attached hoses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.